Hi there, and welcome to High School Sports Zone. The playoffs are just around the corner in the winter season, which means we've got lots of important regular season matchups for you on this week's show. We'll take a look at a couple of different divisions of senior boys basketball. In Offset Division Girls Senior Volleyball, we've got a great matchup. Two of the top teams in Samuel Genet and Lou Riel meeting up. We'll also have some wrestling highlights later on in the program, and we'll take a look at both boys and girls hockey. As I mentioned, though, we've got senior boys basketball for you, and we'll start off in the AA division with two of the top teams meeting up with Immaculata battling it out with Ashbury. Now, if Ashbury got a victory in this one, they'd extend their winning streak to seven straight games and basically lock up top spot, but Immaculata sits at 5-1, and one, a victory here, and they'd be tied for first place. In senior boys double-A basketball, Ashbury hoped that their league best defense would lead them to the seventh straight victory as they took on Immaculata. Number 7 Pandy for Ashbury blew through the Immaculata defense in the opening minutes of the first quarter to find number 16 Boys Barrett for the bucket and the 9-6 lead. Number 6 Alex Avin then drove hard into the paint to score the contested layup as Ashbury's lead was cut to 9-8. Number 2 Devin Mirren then hit the three-pointer with just seconds remaining in the first quarter as the teams were all tied up 11-11 heading into the second quarter. Boys Barrett then bowed down low in the paint and was rewarded scoring the end one as Ashbury now led by 4 16-12. Number 26, Sully would then intercept Immaculata's pass as he broke up court. He laid in the two points as Ashbury still led 18-12. Ashbury then demonstrated their passing skills. Cooley nailed the cutting teammate number 22, Kirkwood, with a pass as he put in the reverse layup for the 33-16 Ashbury lead. As the second half began, Immaculata's number 7, Quinton Duckworth, set up number 8, Trevor Nadapu, for the triple as Immaculata still had some ground to cover, trailing 41-18. Ashbury's Kirkwood then drove to the basket, going through Immaculata's defenders on the fast break to extend his team's lead to 50-23. After an Immaculata turnover, Pandy for Ashbury took the ball to the rim for the hoop in the harm and a 60-27 lead. The fourth quarter was now underway as Immaculata's Trevor Nadapu continued to knock down threes as his Saints were down 66-34. Number 10, Ryan Gunther then responded, hitting a three of his own to solidify Ashbury's lead. Ashbury went on to take the game 82-51 away from home to extend their winning streak to seven games. For High School Sports Zone, I'm Liam Knight. St. Paul was looking for their fourth straight win as they went up against Woodruff in boys' double-A basketball. Woodruff's number 23, Kamar Sabatish, assisted number 21, Omar, on his three-pointer. Tigers leading 6-0. St. Paul's number 7, Mark, answered back with his own three-pointer, getting his team in the lead now 7-6. St. Paul's number six, Ali's rebound, was picked up by number one, Emmanuel, in the second quarter. Tigers still lead 21 19. Woodruff's number four, Conte, nailed a three point basket with only five seconds to spare, ending the first half at 28 26 for the Tigers. St. Paul's number 13, Daniel, to number one, Emmanuel, for the shot, tying the game up at 28. Mark, number seven from St. Paul, passed the ball to number 11, Bowie who hit a three-pointer, taking the lead for his team once again. It's 33-30. St. Paul's number one, Emmanuel, scored a three-point basket with only one second to spare. It's 45-41 for the Golden Bears. Assisted by number four, Conte, Woodruff's number 13, Chatter, made his way past the Golden Bears and hit a layup, making the score 52-47, still for St. Paul. Number four, Conte from Woodruff, intercepts the Golden Bears' pass, passes the ball to number 23, Kamar Sabatic, who then scores with a layup. Golden Bears are still in the lead, 54-49. St. Paul's number 11, Bowie, went in for number one, Emmanuel's rebound, tapping the ball in the basket. St. Paul won 62-51 over Woodruff in senior boys' double-A basketball, improving to a four-game winning streak. For High School Sports Zone, I'm Mary Mildall. We'll continue on the senior boys' beat with the AAA division now. Colonel By meets up with St. Patrick in our first matchup. Now, on last week's show, I talked about Colonel By. They played Glebe in that game, and they really needed points. They ended up putting up their worst effort of the season, only scoring 36 points in a loss. They have a back-to-back -back matchup now with St. Patrick. They lost the first of the back-to-back. -back. We'll see if they can fare better in this matchup. St. Pat's hope to improve to 7-0 and on the season as they met Colonel By in boys' AAA basketball. St. Pat's number 13, Nathan Garcia, made the jump shot from the top of the key. Irish up, 8-7. James Baird, number 0 for Colonel By, hit his three-pointer. The Cougars trail by one. Mwiwa Womiloju, Cougars number 22, picked up on teammate number 45, Aiden Lockbeeler's air ball to put Colonel By on top, 13-12. 
Cougars number 31, Liam Vervoss, got the shot off from inside the key, 16-15 Irish. Irish's Nathan Garcia, number 13, went all the way, dribbling through defense to take the 30-25 lead. Alston Harris, Irish's number 3, hit his three-pointer, extending their lead to 37-29. Rudy Nickham, Cougars number 23, found number 33, Adam Coe, in the key. Cougars trail by 5. Number 3, Harris, hit another 3 for the Irish, taking their lead to 48-35. Irish's number 2, Adhal Boileau, made the interception and went all the way down the court, securing Irish's lead 50-35. Nathan Garcia, number 13, maneuvered through defense, putting Irish on top by 20 in the bottom of the fourth quarter. St. Pat's went on to win their seventh straight game, 61-39, over Colonel By and Boys AAA Basketball. For High School Sports Zone, I'm Ashley McDonald. Our final senior boys basketball highlights come from the Tier 1 division, where we have Franco Cite meeting up with A.Y. Jackson. Now, A.Y. is one of the top teams in the Tier 1 division. There's three of them right now, and they need a victory against Franco Cite if they wanted to stay competitive and potentially gain first place. Two teams jockeying for playoff position in the tight senior boys basketball Tier 1 division hit the court as Franco Cite met A.Y. Jackson. Franco Cite threw down the first blow in this one, opening the scoring with an open three ball to give them the early lead. A.Y. Jackson wouldn't stay behind for very long as number 34 Rashawn pulls down the offensive rebound and putting the Blue Jays up 9-7. The Blue Jays followed up with a three of their own from the wing off of great ball movement, making it a 14-10 game. The Falcons responded with a 10-2 run, capped off by number 24 Gracias emphatic finish in transition, giving Franco Cite the four-point advantage early on. However, AY showed that they can run the fast break just as well as number 22 Radab gets the easy layup off the nice pass to tie up the game at 20. But it was Franco Cite's number 23 Akumba softly throwing up the floater over the defender, giving the Falcons the 32 to 26 lead going into the half. In the third quarter, it was Blue Jays number 35 Capelling getting free for the short jumper and burying it, giving the lead to AY Jackson. Franco Cite responded on the ensuing possession with a nice spin move and a nice finish at the rim to take the lead back. Jackson responded by showing their nice hustle as they gathered the loose ball and nailed the long tray, giving the Bluebirds the 43-42 edge. Then, using his dribble as number 10 Kelly, who sinks the warm-up jumper to extend the Bluebirds' lead late in the fourth. However, the Falcons wouldn't go away easily as Mbengu scores the bucket off the powerful post move, trimming the lead to just one. But in the end, A.Y. Jackson's offense was just too much, and they seal the victory with a long three-pointer to cap off a 14-1 run to end the game. A.Y. Jackson takes the 66-50 win on their home court. For High School Sports Zone, I'm Braden Chang. As promised, hockey and wrestling highlights later on in the program, but after the break, we'll have a great senior girls volleyball matchup between Muriel and Samuel Jeanette.